Hi guys, my name is Kali and I'm going to teach you on how to do a peer design. Firstly, you select the folder that you want to work in as the working directory. Now, from what you will be having, in this case we don't have uh, a block module for this bit, it's just for learning purposes. If you have a block module, you go to your block module and check the elevation of your of where you want to start your peer at the bottom. Then you digitize that area, you say select to play, then you go to create, then you say digitize properties, then you select the string number, then the elevation for the pit. In this case, the bottom elevation of the pit. In this case, we are going to use 1000, then you apply, then you digitize around uh, the bottom area. And make sure when you digitize, just leave an area or you digitize an area where your ramp is going to be. So let me show you one mine that I've previously done. So my ramp is going to be here. This is 10 meters uh, from there. Go right around to digitize in the bottom of the pit at the same elevation. Then from there, if you get this one, here's the same elevation. So from there, you go to here then you right click then you say two bars then you select the surface design toolbar after that you will see it will show you this then from this you select this one define new ramp then you say select then it will tell you from the bottom that select the first ramp point then i select the first ramp point then it will tell you select the second ramp point then i select the second ramp point then my ramp it's going to be named Kali. Okay. Then you select clockwise or anti-clockwise. For my for this one, it's anti-clockwise. Uh, the ramp width, which is 10 meters, which is fine. A uh, ramp gradient. The gradient that I want for the ramp, I'm going to use seven for this one. Then it's inside the gradient method, inside, outside, or center. For the, I really I'm not sure. On this if it makes any changes for so for me I usually use the outside edge then define the BAM cross characteristics via the choose crest to to increase in that doesn't really matter then if you're going to have some switchbacks in your app you have to go here and say define switchback characteristics usually it comes on 180 I like to use 180 it's correct as it is then the inner ramp the inner the inner switch break radius usually I use 2.5 that's the standard that I use and I apply then from there you go to expand by bench then you select since we are using the bottom of the ramp we will be expanding outside so it's saying select the segment to expand then you select the segment bench height the standards of most square mines that I have worked at is five meters benches. Then expand z direction upwards, which means you are going up to the surface from the bottom. Horizontal direction you'll be expanding because you'll be expanding because you are starting from the bottom and you want to go outside. As you go outside, the pit becomes bigger. If you were starting from the top of the pitch you going inside you have to select contract and on the z direction you have to select the downward then i apply here and you still select rainbow invalid then i say okay then you go here where it says angle then you select either you have it as a percentage or as a ratio for me i like it as an angle which is 30 degrees from the machine that i are working with so that it can move towards one slide then you say apply now we have the angle then go again expand bench you select bench height five you have already entered this then you say apply this is our fish trim this is our bench now after creating for every bench you have to have, you have to have a beam width so that you have the beam so that if they are opposing everything they can be caught by the beams it should be for the mines that are awake again five meters so you select again then you select the 
a string in there that you want to to make the beam from then I have a fixed width I want with the width should be five meters in this case I can use even six meters but we will usually use five meters again we expand because we are going outside from the center if we are going inside we're going to use contract then switch back characteristics we do not hear a switch back right now so we just apply from our design here we go is uh, the bum and it's worth then again we select the page height select the point again five meters it, apply then you select again now sorry you go here now i'm just for learning purposes i'm going to use to put a beam here a switch back sorry on this beam so i select apply him i apply the switch back here is the switch back then from there again you select the same image height you select the segment five meters you can adjust the meters if you want but for me for these purposes i'm going to use it as it is then you say now if you see this angle this edge is going to be it's very hard to mine an angle like that one so i go to edit then i say point delete then i try to delete some points so that we can flip it as smooth as possible i think it's now fine then i go back to sorry expand bench height and i select the segment again five meters i apply and so forth you continue doing this going outwards either you want to put another switch back it's up to you for learning purposes i think we have exhausted everything right now then you go to surfaces then you say create then you say apply here we go we are done this is our peak design this is our peak design if you want you can go to this display then you say color bending then you apply as you can see this is our first page this is our second beam and this is our ramp i uh, hope you enjoyed that and i hope you learned a lot from that uh make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and give leave a comments and addition and subscriptions thank you guys and have a blessed life.